I'm SirTapTap, and there's a new feature in Abyssrium. Uh, it just updated for me today. Um, usually the way it works is a few people get the update like a couple days early, and then I would say within about four days I would expect everybody to have it. Um, but if you are not in the know, there are new fusion fish, which are all the fish I have out here. Um, there's a new page in the manage fish section for the fusion fish. Fusion fish, it's kind of a misnomer. I would say they're more like designer fish, like customized fish, because uh, you don't really fuse fish. But um, fusion fish are a whole new category. They add to your vitality bonus. So as you can see here, my vitality vo bonus is actually increased by 5,015% for uh, 28 fish here. Um, the way fusion fish work is there's a new tab in create fish and what you need is you need at least two fish of a certain species and you need some new crafting materials. The crafting materials you get from the farm tab in the coral tab. Um, there's freaking layers and layers upon tabs now. It's actually getting a little bit complicated, isn't it? But anyway, you just buy these with uh, pearls. So. 50 pearls, I got the seaweed farm, and that means every 10 minutes I'll get 10 seaweed. 100 pearls, I got the clam farm, which means 10 clams every hour. You have to check in to actually claim them. You don't, like, they won't accrue while idle. Like, it'll just finish the task. So you have to log in, like, say, every hour to get your 10 clams. Um, it, it's a teeny bit grindy, but um, there's only 20 um, fish so far. Um, yes, I did manage to get these very quickly. There's a little bit of a trick, which I think I'll wait for more people to actually get the update before I post a video on that. But um, it's pretty easy to do even on accident. But uh, we'll cover that later. So the way it works is once you've got your materials, um, there'll just be a little icon, kind of like the hearts. There'll be a little seaweed icon over here and a little clam icon over here. And you'll click that and you'll just get your thing. You do have to be connected online for the counter to go up and for the, uh, the clam to, or if you be able to harvest, harvest anything. Um, so once you've got your materials and you've got your main fish, um, let's go ahead and make, what's a nice one? I like this white tail tang. So I've got two clown tangs. I've got more than 30 seaweed. I got more than 10 clams. So I'm gonna fuse life. They have a horrible description here. Um, like I've said before, they really need an English editor. Um, if you got money for me, I got editing I can do for you. I know your game better than I think most of your uh, English team does. I don't think they have an English team actually. I think they have somebody that you know, kind of knows English. They read, you know, they used Google Translate a couple times in their life. Um, it's really confusing. Just I have a description on my guide if I'm not confu or if I'm not clear enough. But basically, you use your materials, and you, it only costs one fish. You need two fish, and basically what that means is that you'll always have one of the original fish left over. So even though it says it needs two, it only consumes one. And so this fish, basically, nothing. You don't lose anything. This fish just con converted into the new fish. And uh, so you keep your vitality bonus from the original fish. You, um, your fish cost doesn't go down. It, uh, it just adds a new vit vitality bonus on top. Um, the whole, the leak that we got earlier does not seem to be true, um, or it's seeming less true, because the whole, they, they were talking about a black pearl currency. They were talking about it being in July. This seems to be our only update in July, by the way. They did say there will be an event in August. We don't know exactly what kind of event. Actually, we think it's an anniversary event. Um, I think that was actually confirmed. The event icon showed up for me after I updated it. Um, it was a star icon, but of course the event you know, isn't on. Hello, Parker. You're very helpful, thank you. Thank you for getting your butt in my face. This is very helpful to me recording videos. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> oh, and they also said they'll be in releasing more farms and more fish every uh, month. So I'm guessing next month we're going to get sea urchin farm next month. After that, crab farm, then krill farm. And I'm guessing 10 fish per farm. So not too bad to keep up on. Um, currently, the fish just go through the clown fish all the way down through the angel fish. Ah, Tucker. Oh, and to unlock these, uh, the seaweed farm just requires you to have the... Uh, fresh seaweed coral, and the clam farm requires the mysterious starfish, so not really high requirements at all. You can get started almost immediately. Like, you probably have mysteri or the 
the mysterious starfish. I think you had that like after your first day if you're pretty active. So uh, nothing too egregious in terms of requirements. Also, some little UI tweaks here and there. They added this little ad banner so you know exactly what action will cause an ad to play. So that's kind of nice because like when you get that little stupid thing that says, oh, you got idle vitality. Do you want to watch an ad and double it? It didn't it used to say that that, that was an ad. So that was kind of rude. Um, also, they added a new paid thing for pearls. I think they're like, they're, their whole plan is like, oh, we need to make people spend pearls and we gotta get money that way. I don't think that's a really great way to do it. Like, the pearls don't, they really don't seem very appealing. There's, they're so expensive for so little gain. And it's just, but this daily pearl package thing, you get 30 pearls every day for 30 days. So 12,000, or 1,200 total for 10 bucks, which is better than the other offerings, but still not great. Um, in my opinion, they should do more events. The events are fun. The events, um, oh, here you can see, this is what happens when the uh, the seafood or the seaweed is ready. You just click that bubble. It's kind of laggy because it has to connect online to be like, okay, is it? Am I, is this really okay? You, you can't trust, you know, you can't trust these wily players. Oh, also, um, they removed the Google Play quests, rest in peace. That used to be a great way to get lots of gems, and I wish they brought it over to iOS, but I guess, I don't know, Google Google is depreciating that feature. Uh, it's leaving, it's like ending next year, um, which obviously is not this year, so I'm not sure why it happened exactly now, but uh, oh well. But yeah, some of the fish are really nice in this update. I really, let's take a look. Excuse me, Parker. Um, they have their own tab here. I really like the, the purple one here. The Pinksmith Damsel. Uh, these are all real fish, by the way. Um, or they're like, you know, color variants of real fish. Um, I thought they were like made up, because I mean, Juggalo Clownfish. There's no way that's a real fish. That was a real fish. And then it was sad. Imagine if you were named after Juggalos. You would probably... Imagine like your whole species were na was named after Juggalos. I think they're like, like a designer breed or something. But uh, still, what a sad life to lead. Anyway, so that's all the fusion fish. Oh, and as you can see, I have I now have 5,000, or 5, 5,000, 530% more bonus vitality from that. So um, th they have made the freaking higher, the more expensive corals more accessible now. Uh, you still have to play a long time to get them because this is kind of like pearls where, you know, you can't just play a lot in one day. Well, I mean, that can help. But you kind of got to wait a lot of real time in order to get up all of your clams and your seaweeds and stuff to get your fancy fish. But um, it's a neat feature. It's a little complicated. It feels a little excessive in terms of complexity for, you know, just this whole two whole new menus just for these 20 fish. Um, but you do get a nice vitality boost out of it. I've been zooming. I've just been going new right through the freaking vitality tiers. I'm at DS. Freaking vitality, it's uh, it's nice. But um, that's pretty much all there is new in this update. There should be an event next month. I really hope they get back into the rhythm of an event every other month. I thought that was really nice. Um, and I know my goals aren't necessarily exactly the same as their goals, but uh, there was always way, way more traffic on my guide whenever there was an event throughout the entire duration of the event. Um, everyone seemed to be having fun. Everyone was like, oh, look at all these cool new fish. And just the events were a blast in my opinion, and it seemed like everybody else enjoyed them a lot as well. And something I really like about the events is that even if you don't have, like even if you're not all the way down at freaking DS Vitality, you can get all of the fish because all that really matters is your Song of the Moon level a little bit. Um, but, because the candies are totally separate from Vitality, so you could get all of the fish no matter where you were in the game, more or less. Uh, it was really inviting and cool, and I wish, we would have more stuff like that. I kind of missed the way it was around last year. Was The way it worked last year was we'd have events, you know, every couple of months. Um, every few weeks, we would they would add fish in batches of four. So, like, first we got the four fish that you can get from, like, the daily attendance thing. Then we got four new hidden fish. And I liked that because there was always something new to find. And it wasn't all this complicated stuff, but it was something hidden. So we would all kind of try to find it out and... You know, it might not surprise you with something that makes a guide. I really enjoy finding all the secrets and stuff. And while I did update my guide for all of the uh, the farming stuff, it's pretty much all right in here. There's nothing really too fancy. 
Um, it, it's pretty much plain to see. It, 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 it kind of lacks that excitement of the hidden fish, in my opinion. But, uh, oh well. That's pretty much what there is to say on this. I, um, there's a little trick. I think I'll show that once. It seems like everybody has the update. Uh, because otherwise, I think it's kind of a bug. And they might already know about it. And it might get patched before anybody actually gets the update, which is my other fear. And then I'll have a video and I'll raise your hopes and you'll be like, oh no, it doesn't work. So I think I'll wait for the, the full release to actually happen. And then I'll post that. And, um... That's pretty much what I got to say for now. I'm really looking forward to the August update, but obviously I don't have any you know, special info for it, so I can't really talk too much about it. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. I Everybody always wants more Abyss Room videos, um, and I'm never really sure what to do with them on, but uh, hopefully that was good. Oh, and people downvoted the last video. I don't know what that, that was about. I did some empirical testing, and I got freaking five downvotes instantly. I don't know if that's because, like, people could see my wallpaper. And if that's the case, well, you get to see my wallpaper again. Take that. Suffer. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. People are weird. But yeah, hopefully that's helpful and informative. Um, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take to get all of the fish without my pretty cheap method of getting them, frankly. But, um... <laughs> I couldn't resist kind of, you know, cheating because I make the guide. I wanted to get all of them. I wanted to see if there's anything special. Um, you don't really get anything other than, you know, a crap ton of extra vitality for uh, getting all of them. But it is nice to fill up a new set of fish. It's nice to see that 100%, which is why I'm, I, I'm pretty freaking annoyed, by the way, getting a little bit off topic. But they listed the premium event fish. You know, like this is a paid fish right here in the event fish. I have all of the event fish you can get without paying. Um, I should have 100% here. Yeah, I, I try not to be, like, I'm like a moderate tier completionist. Like, I won't go to the ends of the earth to complete a game. I won't pay the $300 that I would have to pay to uh, get all of the fish in this game. But if it's reasonable, I'll do it. And I'm a little bit annoyed that the, the, the freaking the things that cost money should be in the package fish category. I'm sorry. Anyway. That's that's all there is to say. I think I've said that three times in this video. Anyway, <laughs> I always get ranty. But that is the new Abyssrium update. Um, I do really like the fish, like I said. Some of them... I like this lemon peel. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm playing on my PC and it, it's so insufferable to try to move the camera like this. But lemon peel. Look at, look at this cute little friend. What a good friend. Um, I like the, the... I like the bold colors. There, I really like, yeah, I, w I wanted to mention this, I forgot. I, I really like how this kind of lets you add a lot of color without really having, like, a bunch of new, like, fish. Because, you know, if it requires a totally new model, they're not going to do it because, you know, that's too much work. But they're kind of like palette swaps. They're, they're a nice way to introduce a little bit of extra variety. You know, cheap variety, but it's still variety. And I like that. So, I don't have too many complaints. Like I said, it's a little bit of a grind. It's a little bit complex. But overall, I think it's a good update. It adds some more vitality. It adds some nice looking fish. It's a good update. Also, my core light is getting freaking crowded. Look at all of this mess. But, uh, oh well. That's a mystery for now. I might have another video. I think I might just do a little showcase video of the fish that's, you know, without me gabbing. But other than that, I'm not sure what else to show. Well, happy tapping, everybody.